it's Mimi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. This is my husband Eric if you haven't met him yet. But not too long ago we did a video on my channel reacting to LDS memes which if you haven't seen it check it out up here. It is a great one. You guys loved it so much we wanted to bring you kind of another addition into this new series that we're doing and today we are going to be reacting to cringy mutual messages. So if you don't know what mutual is, it's an LDS dating app. But I do think that there are some other apps mixed in, um, like from Tinder or Bumble or whatever people are using these days. Back in my day, there was only Tinder. And although there have been a lot of success stories from dating apps, like I know a lot of people who have met their eternal companion from Mutual. There's a lot of cringiness that you have to get through first. There's this Instagram account called Provo Guys, am I right? And they receive submissions of like the worst messages. And oh my gosh, I've seen some of these because I follow the account. Eric hasn't seen any of these. Some of them, just warning, are inappropriate. So we got our Diet Coke, let's dive in. By the way, if you're brand new to my channel, if it's the first time you're seeing us, hi again, my name is Mimi, and I make videos all about LDS news, doctrine, and culture, and we would love to have you along with us if you're interested in seeing that kind of content. <laughs> I still need to be in it. Oh, okay, sorry, I thought it was my show. By the way, as I was saving these, there were so many. So if you guys are gonna want a part two of this, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so we know. Okay, here's the first one. It doesn't always start right at the beginning of the conversation. You guys got it. So, girl says, I like climbing too, but I'm not very good. Hey, you can always get better. Hey, random question. Would you be down to make out with my friend? Classy. What a kind <laughs> friend. He's just trying to hook up his friend with some girl that sucks at climbing, you know? I actually did this once back when I was on Tinder. There was this guy, oh my gosh, this is so funny. I won't say who my friend was, but my friend at the time, we were both on Tinder, and there was this one guy that she was really interested in, and we both swiped right on him, but he didn't swipe right on her, only me. So I was messaging him, and then after like a while of messaging him, I was like, hey, by the way, I think you're really nice, but my friend really is the one who's interested. <laughs> I okay. like sent her all these That things. is not what this guy just did. When That's you said true. you did this, I was worried. Oh yeah, no, I didn't just ask him to make out with her. That's so weird. So he says, what are you doing tonight? Studying for midterm, possibly free tomorrow though. Do it tomorrow, let's hang out. Mmm, tempting. Give me three reasons why. You're cute? I think I'm cute. And I'm trying to find a girl that's down to have a fun time. I don't know, man. I really value my education. He says, what? <laughs> the fact that he's so confused by her valuing her education. Yeah. But some people are just so full of themselves, though. You know, yeah. they're such an ego that, like, if they try to, to go after a girl, she says no, and they're just, like, dumbfounded. So I was thinking we could go to a cool Spanish theater that has a production opening this Friday. Is the play in Spanish? LOL. Yeah, I heard it's going to be amazing. A girl I know is starring in it. But I don't speak Spanish. Crying face. LOL. I served my mission in Argentina. I got you. So you're going to translate the whole play? Gives me an excuse to whisper in your ear, doesn't it? Sounds like a good date. Should we no! confuse all the time? Good times? No. Why would you do that? I hate nothing more than RMs who cannot get over themselves. Like, cool, you can speak Spanish. Good for you. Why would somebody want to go on a date to a Spanish plate if they don't speak Spanish? Number one, I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty good with numbers. Tell you what, give me yours and watch what I can do with it. Number two, my mom told me to take out the trash, so when are you free? Wanted some options for a pickup line. Except the second one is so mean! Well, you know, that's the thing, is he was giving her, like, the nice one, and then, like, straight up- I'm sorry, no girl on a dating app wants to hear that a guy call her trash. Like, just- Nah, sadly, there are probably a few that would be mm -hmm. down. Eric, no. Trust me. They'd no be like, girl wants to be I am a trashy ho. Let's okay, go. Okay, girls like to call themselves trash, but not when other people call them trash. Comment below. You know what I mean. Really cool. So, have you been Mormon long? Haha, <laughs> yeah. And yep, I was raised in the church. How about you? Molly Mormon? Me too. Haha, <laughs> I don't know if we call me a Molly Mormon, but yeah, I'm pretty Mormon. Rule breaker, are you? Haha, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good for the most part, but I mean, if I stub my toe, something explicit might come out of my mouth. Here, Molly Mormons are perceived as being super strict and judgmental. I definitely try to follow standards, but I don't shame those that don't, if that makes sense. Haha, <laughs> oh, so you're naughty. Oh 
Oh my gosh! How do you even respond to that? I mean, haha, <laughs> nah, I guess as good as you can do. But... I just hate that she wrote out this long, thoughtful response, and then he's like, oh, so you're naughty. This one is a bio. Body by Taco Bell, Mr. Rogers fan. Hoping to righteously procreate with you in the not too distant future. Okay, that's oh just gosh. not a pro. That's not real. Mr. Rogers fan? Who puts that in the <laughs> box? Mr. Rogers fan? This guy's not yeah, real. Some people love Mr. Rogers. All right, you find this guy on mutual and get him to swipe on you and meet him in public, and then I'll say he's real. Until then, he's not real. Bro, I freaking love Game of Thrones. It's seriously the best. I love the naked parts. <laughs> Don't oh. read it like that. Oh my gosh, I live it. Okay, haha, <laughs> only kidding. Oh my gosh, I see this all the time and I can't stand it. You see guys pushing the limits. Hey, what are you comfortable with? And then when the girl's like, no, I'm not okay with that. And they're like, haha, <laughs> just kidding. Now, who do you think I am? I would never do that. And then they just don't mess it back <laughs> again. You're like, oh, okay, that was definitely the truth. If this was a joke from the start, don't say it. <laughs> If you were actually trying to get to know someone to form a real relationship with them, you wouldn't say, I love the naked parts. <laughs> what you up to? Just chillin', chilling. That's fun, we should chill. Okay, but what is your definition of chill? Oh. It can be anything. Okay, but I'm really not into hookups or nickmos or anything if that's what you're thinking. Okay, you know what, honestly, very smart girl. She could see that's where it was heading. And then he said, well that sucks. I can change your mind. No thanks. No, I don't. I can don't. change your mind. With a question mark. <laughs> the question mark made it less bad, but it's He doesn't so bad. say, can I change your mind? He says, I can change your mind? It's, yeah, like the force. Like, what? I can change your mind. Well, that's not, you don't use a question mark with the force. Oh, You're they like, just kind of say it funny, so I didn't know. Oh. I am not 29. I changed my age on Facebook, and now I can't change it back. I'm much older. But my picture is from last week. I'm 36. Whoa, why'd you change your age, lol? I was testing a hypothesis. Okay. Yes. I match with cute girls like you when it says I'm 29. <laughs> my hypothesis was correct. <laughs> oh, no. Is it too old for you? Age isn't an issue, but lying about your age is... Oof. Ha ha ha, I feel the same way when I meet girls in person from a dating app that look completely different in person due to excessive makeup. But lying no. about looks and age might not be the same for everyone. It's so different. Is that it? No, it's just, ah, lying in general is usually a bad sign. <sighs> you asked if I was 29, I said no, I'm 36. I would bet you I have lied less than you have in the last 10 years. Things were actually kind of going okay. I know. She was kind of all right with the whole age yeah. thing. Yeah. But then he made it bad. And when you're 36, like here's the thing. I'm assuming a majority of these messages are from people around the ages of maybe 19 to 24. If you're 35, I expect a higher level of respect and maturity from you. And we did not see that. Well. You placing the blame saying, and saying, I bet I lied less than you in the last 10 years. <laughs> Who are you? Who says that? Also, he brought up the fact that she asked him if he was 29. In what other conversations does someone just ask you what your age is when it's on your profile? It's not like he was like, oh, I have to come clean with you. Like, I guarantee there's other girls on the app he's talking to, and they still think he's 29. Yeah, that's a good point. She probably saw his picture and thought he looked kind of old. <laughs> yeah and uh, called him out, so. Right, like there's probably other girls, like if you are matched with someone on Mutual right now who looks like they could be 36, but it says they're 29, just, just go ahead and ask them. Last thing about this guy, by the way, I'm sorry for being mean. This is just like, we don't know him, this is all that we see of him. The audacity that he says lying about his age is the same thing as girls who wear makeup well, he says excessive amounts of makeup. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Some people say I wear excessive amounts. Some people say I wear natural makeup compared. Like, it's all relative. Like, you just don't. It's so different. It's so different. I mean, he would have had a case here if he just said girls who don't look like their Instagram photos. Yeah, that's fair. That Because happens. that could have been editing, all sorts of stuff. Hey, I'm sorry that things got out of hand last night, and I know you're probably mad. But since you wouldn't do something that breaks a lot of chastity yesterday... Do you want to try it today, winky face? 
Also, do you want to go to my ward prayer with me tomorrow? Wow. There are so many things wrong with that. <laughs> hey, I know you weren't comfortable with this and it was like totally not the right thing yesterday, but like today's a new day, huh? Oh my gosh. This will be our last one. Not interested, sorry. Great way to start. Someone that you matched with. <laughs> Crying face, okay. Too skinny for me. Why did you match them? And why, if you're not interested, okay, maybe you accidentally swipe on them or some guys just swipe on everybody. Maybe that's the case. You don't have to go to them and say, not interested, too skinny. That's so mean. Like, There's actually a way that. to tell people you're not interested on all dating apps. It's called ignoring them. That's much better than telling her she's too skinny or too fat or anything that you don't like brown hair. I would usually say in dating it's better to communicate, but when it comes to dating apps and maybe you accidentally swiped on them, you don't need to go communicate to them why you're not interested. Just, it's common to just not answer people on dating apps. I would just, just stick I think to if that. You start, it'd be one thing if like you guys went on a first date and you said, let's do this again sometime. They texted you, set it up. Right. And you said, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. All right, like that's 100% expected. Don't just ghost them right then. Yeah. But in this case where it's a dating app, where people are matching all over the place, all the stuff's happening, like, just don't say anything. Yep. Great way to end this video today. When I tell you that there are more, there are so many more good ones that we didn't even get to in this video because it took too long for us to go through these. Like, there's still some of my favorites are left. So, if you are interested in seeing a part two, please give this video a thumbs up. That way it's an indicator so we can kind of tell what you guys are liking, what you're not liking. Let us know in the comments below if you use dating apps and what your experience has have been. If you've ever gotten a crazy message like this, let us know, drop them below, we wanna read them. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far in the video. I love and appreciate you guys seriously so much. And if you are interested in seeing more content like this, if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and we will have many more videos coming soon. We'll see you guys later.